All right, here we go. All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting over here in the makeshift little review table. And what I have in front of me is a couple of different little th variants, really cool little deals from the guys that are primary arms. And uh, first thing, I'm going to do a review on this little booger this week. This is their 5 times prism scope. This is the Aurora ACSS. Probably one of the best, fastest, uh, what do you call it, optics out there, reticles. But this is a 5 power prism with an incredible eye relief and a, a diopter that's adjustable for you people who have what we call the astigmatism. 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 Why is it pronounced like that? So anyway, we'll put it on the uh, one of the production rifles here and we're going to take it out and test it. I'm going to show you guys how this ring steel out to, what is it? And we'll try to go out to 800 yards with this thing. All right, so put that up. Uh, what are we talking about on the table today? Is this guy right here? This is the primary arms. This is an SLX 3 to 18 by 50. And as you know, this one, well, may not know, it comes with three different reticles the Apollo in uh, 6.5 Creedmoor, and as well as uh, the Grendel. And then this guy right here has the Athena BPR in Mills. They are going to come out with one, uh, I can't, the. Herrera, Hera, Hera, and it's in MOA, which is really cool. We'll go ahead and put this, this is the box for that guy. So anyway, uh, before we do this, I'm just gonna do a box opening on this. I have to go ahead and put together another rifle in order to put this thing on something. But I thought it'd be interesting to just show you guys. I've already pulled this guy out. I've looked at it extensively. Uh, I've done a lot of things and just working with it, figuring it out. And that's one of the things I wanna do when I'm, when I'm working with you guys so that I can share with you some of the things that I like. Uh, in this, I'm going to show you how to adjust the turrets. It's pretty cool and uh, it's pretty easy. So this is $499.99 and with that you're going to get turrets that have a zero stop uh, for your elevation and different turret arrangements that you can have. It has a <laughs> Elevation adjustments is uh, 64 mils. That's incredible. Six levels of brightness. Uh, I'll go through the details here in a couple seconds and it will go through and I'll show you what you can do with the turrets. We've got a camera up above and you can see that. But the Athena BPR mill reticle, we've done a lot of videos on that. I'll put some links down below to show you those videos. This is probably one of the best reticles out there, in my opinion, because you can see if you miss your impact, you can see where it is. You can adjust to the impact and boom, you're done. Uh, this has ranging qualities. It has ranging brackets, which are incredible. I like those a lot. Uh, this is going to go well with an 18 inch barrel and I actually have one under production. I've actually repurposed the rifle and we're going to take a Criterion 18 inch barrel and I'm going to put this guy on it. Now, this is their medium level. This is the SLX. They have a GLX and a Platinum series. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is their Platinum Series that's sitting on this JP rifle, as you can see right here, and uh, use this quite a bit. This is one of the best rifles I have ever produced, ever, 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 ever. Um, so, you know, speaking of which, uh, Trigger Tech, love your diamond triggers. All right, so let's talk about this as first focal plane. Uh, magnific mag mag magnification of 3 to 18. Uh, the eye relief on this thing is, is really, really nice. Uh, that's one of the most important things. If you have a scope, just, you know, basically not just shooting for whatever. If you're, if you're in the industry, you're probably going to go with a little bit better optic than this, but the eye relief is very important because if you're sitting in a position uh, for a period of time and you're staring down through this thing, you want to have a lot of a variation in the movement so you, you can be comfortable. Uh, the length of this thing is 13.6 ounces or th inches, 32.4 ounces, and uh, lifetime warranty. Now, one of the things that I, I didn't see on this was a uh, shake awake or you know where it turns itself off and it turns itself back on. Uh, that's one of the things that would have been nice if they didn't have this. But in any case, that's in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and open the box up and I'm going to show you what comes in it and we'll go on the upper camera. All right, here we go. So we're going to open it up. Ta -da. It's really nice. You do have the directions. They have the PDF version on their uh, website, which is what I looked at. You have two different uh, little instruction manuals right here. And one's going to tell you how to use the Athena reticle, and we'll do that later on. And again, I've done a lot of videos on that. And then I'm going to show you how to manipulate or use the different turret caps uh, that you want. So, and a nice cleaning cloth. Okay, so here we go. Nice protection right there. And it comes packed just like that. 
So what we do is we're gonna take it out. Now the first thing I will tell you that I notice on this guy is this, uh, the, the turret above. This is your elevation turret. And it is really, really nice. I like the, how it's tall. Uh, some of these turrets, well, as you can see in comparison with their Platinum series, I like tall turrets. And I like the Zero Stop, a rifle with $499 that has a, an effective Zero Stop. Now, I'm gonna show you something. If you can hear that, that's a Zero Stop, boys and girls. That one is really incredible. Okay, so what do we do when we do scopes? Let's open up the box, we have a couple more items. Now, I've already gone ahead and opened this up. I've modified it the way I like it, utilizing this turret cap over here for your uh, windage. Now, typically, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of adjustment for wind, I'm gonna do the hold. Uh, so if I have a full value wind, I'm gonna use the reticle itself to do the holdovers, uh, left and right and maybe even up and down, depending on what I'm gonna do. If I'm lasering the target with, say for instance, the Leica Range Master, which I did to a degree where I just pointed this thing out the window and shot it at a, an exhaust fan at 700 yards, boom, here it is right now. So one of the cool things is we always do it from front to back. This guy comes with some scope caps. Uh, typically, I'll just go ahead and set those to the side as well as I like the throw lever. This is really cool. And one of the reasons why I like the throw lever on this guy is it, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty stressed. I mean, it's not stressed, but it's smooth as silk, but it takes a little bit to turn that guy. Uh, is that something that's gonna break in? I don't know. The diopter, of course, on the back over here, this is what you're gonna use to go ahead and bring that reticle into focus. Uh, okay, so we've got the reti the Diopter in the back, three to 18. Athena mill, we've got a throw ring right here with a lever on it from three to 18. This is a, a really good range uh, for any kind of really precision shooting, okay, or any kind of thing. But uh, the nice thing is, as you saw from the video, that really does bring it into focus. Now the first focal plane, as you saw from the little video I did, and I'll put it again up here, we'll just go ahead and run it in a loop. The reticle will stay the same in relationship to your target, where a second focal plane, the reticle will stay the same no matter where you zoom in or out. I should, uh, I've already done a video on that a long time ago, and we could probably do that again. Okay, what else does this guy come with? Uh, from the box, you're gonna get it with a scope cap. This is the cover, okay? This is gonna go actually over top of your windage. And what you can do is you can undo that, and then this little booger is going to be underneath there. Now this is really cool. Uh, when I'm doing a shooting competitions, you're throwing stuff in the buckets. Uh, you don't want your scopes to be exposed like this, it's typically because you throw in a bucket, that happens, and then you're off on the next <laughs> when you pick it back up, and you you might miss. Uh, remember we were doing Snipers Unknown, I actually did not reset my turret after one particular stage and unfortunately for me I was shooting over or below or under the, the next target. So uh, the cool thing is you do have zero stops. Now the adjustments here, you have a little deal left and right here. I like the arrows uh, just simply because I don't have to go, in, like my old rear end, I'll have to get up and look, I'm gonna go, where am I? Uh, you'll notice that the click values here that is really, really nice. And these things turn very nicely. Uh, they're smooth, which means that they're going to be precise. You've got two Allen wrenches here. I still have, oh, I know what the bigger one is. You can remove this throw lever. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll demonstrate that. Maybe, maybe not. Well, nope. And it's held in place and it's like a dovetail. And you can just slide this thing in keep this because you may be able to use it on another optic that they produce that you don't have this. So you can go ahead and just take that off if you don't like it. I particularly, I do like it. So we're going to go ahead and put it back on just like that. How about that? Breeze through that real quickly. Okay. So they have a 1.5 millimeter uh, Allen wrench here. When I, I will set this optic up. I will most likely go ahead, as a matter of fact, let's move that out of the way so you can see what we're doing over here. I, I have a uh, torque wrenches 
that are set for inch pounds and I'll set all these turrets up even even the little gear system inside specifically so that I uh, will use those specifications four or five pounds for the interior screws and these screws right here I always go with the 24 25 pounds for my rings okay so the cool thing is with this little guy right here you can take this off and this is like I said this is a lot of features for $4.99 and I'm, uh, like, and I'll put a link down to the campsite below. So if you're interested in taking a look at this thing, use that campsite to head on over there. But anyway, this is what this looks like. You got the little deal inside there, little gear system here. You can put this back on here, okay? Using the same Allen wrench. Just snug it up for right now. Don't overstress these things. And there, you have another turret, but with this turret, you can use this cover and cover it up. So you don't have to worry about that. Like I said, I'll usually use the reticle if I'm gonna do any changes in left or right in the windage. Okay, same thing kind of applies for this deal right here, the, the elevation turret, okay? So this thing has a gear system in that you have to adjust in order to set your stops. So typically, zero the rifle. Depending on what round you're gonna use, typically I'll do a 200 yard zero with 77 grain, because that's what I'll use, Sierra Match Kings. And I'll go ahead and zero it at 200 yards. And then, of course, then you're gonna either use uh, a rangefinder with a Kestrel, and that's gonna give you your firing solution that you're gonna utilize on dialing in your turrets. But it's really important to do this. So what you're gonna do, you may have to adjust this up or down. If it's too far down, uh, you may have to bring it up a little bit. No big deal. If you, if you're looking at this scope, then you may probably know what I'm talking about. If not, maybe be a little class we can talk about. So anyway, once you have it zeroed, you're going to go ahead and remove this upper turret cover by the three little set screws right here. And again, like I said, all you got to do is snug them up. You don't have to move them real hard. You're going to remove this upper. Now, one of the cool things I like about what we're looking at here, this is very similar to the GLX. Uh, or the PLX, no, the GLX. So anyway, um, where, was I, where was I going? Oh, the, the cap. You can always tell when you have a good quality cap because there's a, a, like a compressed air. It's very smooth when you pop it on and off, okay? So you got a little gear system, and I'm gonna show you right here. So now this thing is zeroed. And when you initially receive this scope, what's gonna happen is this little red, anodized red, little dial is going to be seated all the way to the bottom like that and I'm hoping that you can see that from above and that's way this air this little booger right here that's locked what's locked into your turret from above once you're zeroed you don't want to touch this thing <laughs> don't touch that and I'm gonna show you a little hack that I do I like uh, so what we're gonna do to establish the zero stop on this particular scope we're gonna move this little guy right here to where this little pin engages with this guy here. And typically, if you run that thing up snug, what's gonna happen when it gets close to being uh, at the zero stop, it's gonna feel like this thing just like wants to slow down. I don't like that. I wanna, I wanna be able to go whack, okay? So what I'll do is I'll bring that up and it will make it engage. And once I get to my little first screw here, Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Once you raise this up to it engages with this guy here, I'm hoping that you can see that from above. We're gonna go ahead and put our Allen wrench into the first set screw. I may have to set this down a little bit, and then I'm gonna drop it a mill, just a, just, a, just a tad. In other words, what I'm, I'm not gonna bring it all the way up against that tab, this thing at the very beginning, but I want it to be kind of free. I don't want it to be slicked up to that, if that makes sense. I can have another cup of coffee. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and snug up our other two screws, not too much. Remember, four or five pounds, inch, pounds, okay? Now, what that does is it sets this thing, so that's your zero stop, that's how that works. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this back on, and you are going to bring the turret cap to where it indicates zero. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your zero. Now, you can do this, and I've done it and, uh, on some other ones. I like to do a little over travel. I like, I like a point, a half mil down below the zero. So you can do that by setting 
this guy a couple spaces here. I mean, is it going to be dead on? Uh, maybe not. But what you can, you can do that. But we're not going to do it. Worry about it now. So we're out on zero. And again, we have directional arrows down and up for your point of impact. Let's go ahead and zero this up. Now, what I like to do on these, just an FYI, I turn them in to where that one just touches. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing for this one as we're going to do it to where it just touches. I don't want to torque them out down yet because I'm, what I'm trying to do is make sure that we have a nice even distributed space. And what we can do is now we will go through and in, 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 in intervals, we'll go ahead and just tighten these things up. So now I want you to hear this. Very cool. All right. We talked about the windage, we talked about the elevation. Again, you can unscrew this thing, and if you need to make any changes to your elevation or your windage, you can go ahead and do that. But this is how your scope will come from primary arms. One of the things you're gonna have is a parallax. These numbers are labeled. You're gonna go all the way from 100 up to infinity. Uh, like I said, if you're gonna be shooting out to 600, 700 yards to 1,000, just set the thing at infinity and just go ahead and bring it in. You can take it all the way down into 10 yards or less, I think. Well, 10 yards is here, so there's, there it is. Um, okay, what else we have? You have the levels of brightness. This reticle is really bright. Uh, it is etched in, so if you lose your battery, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna be worried about that. CR2023 battery up here, 30 millimeter tube, and a 50 millimeter uh, opening in the front. Guys, that's it. The glass on this thing is, this is the Gen 2. So the glass on it is impeccable. Uh, again, like I said, I've got the camera out, took a look through it. The, like, the Athena reticle is my favorite. I've worked with it a lot. So uh, there. So with that being said, $4.99 is not a bad deal for what you're getting with this optic. Zero stops, the glass, uh, it's re the reticle. So guys, that's it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate leaving them in the comment section down below. I'd like to thank Primary Arms. They're a good partner with the, our uh, channel over here. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of videos here. And uh, we're going to be doing it Callaway Ballistics. We're going to be testing out some of their ammo, seeing what their standard deviation looks like and accuracy out the distance. And then we're going to be taking that guy, like I said, we'll do that. And what else do I have? Oh, so in comparison, this is the older five power prism scope to the new one. So that's a pretty, let me put that up so you can see what the difference is. That's a pretty big uh, deviation from one to the other. Um, we're going to be working out with the Rock Island Armory. This guy, I don't know what the hell happened to hit, but uh, she decides she just doesn't want to shoot about every two or three rounds, and then you end up with a bolt action uh, shotgun. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. Because freedom, well, let's just say this you can bang, bang them out to $800 with this bad boy. It's 77 grand. Of course. With that, that's it. Y'all be good. KB32, I'm out of here. Boom.